Hi, my name is Carol Rodriguez and today I'm going to answer the question how censorship works in Eritrea since the latest government. Uh, to start, I'm going to do a introduction of the country. So, uh, Eritrea is a military authoritarian state that has no held a national election since independence from Ethiopia in 1983. Uh, it is a multi-ethnic uh, country with nine recognized ethnic groups in its population. It's around three million people. Uh, this country also has nine national languages, but only has three working uh, languages that are Tigrinian, Arabic, and English. Um, uh, Eritrea is loca uh, located or ubicated in uh, the Horn of Africa, in East Africa. It is bordered to the northeast uh, and east by the Red Sea, uh, the Sudan to the west, Ethiopia uh, to the south, and Djibouti to the southeast. Uh, the nation has a total area of, uh, of approximately 117 thousand six hundred kilometers um, and the human rights in this country uh, are viewed by the non-governmental organizations NGO uh, as the worst in the world uh, particularly with the regards uh, to freedom of the press some Western countries uh, particularly to the United States accused the government of Eritrea of arbitrary arrest and detentions of uh, enough of detaining a unknown number of people without charge for their political activities. The Eritrean government uh, has continuously dismissed uh, the accusations as political motivated. Everything starts with uh, their actual president, Isaias Afwerki, born in 2nd February of uh, 1946. Uh, he is the first and current president of Eritrea, a position he has held since after the Eritrean War of Independence in 1993. Uh, he led the Eritrean People's Liberation Front to victory in May of 1991, ending in this way the 30 years old uh, war uh, for independence. Isaiah has been seated for human rights violations in the United Nations and Amnesty International uh, in 2015. Uh, Reporters Without Borders ranked Eritrea under his government uh, in the last position uh, in its Press Freedom Index uh, for the eight years running. He was chosen uh, by an elected transitional assembly to serve as president under elections could be held uh, under a new constitution. Uh, the government uh, ratified a new constitution in 1996, but it was never been implemented and Isaias continues to rule without a popular mandate. Um, now is uh, how censorship works. Uh, the government shut down all independent media in 2001. Editoria, Editoria sorry, is the worst hiler of journalists in sub-Saharan Africa uh, with at last 16 journalists behind bars as of December 1 of 2018. Most have been imprisoned uh, since the 2001 uh, crackdown and none received a trial. Uh, according to Freedom of Expression Group, in the Article 19, the, 19th, the 1996 press law includes a requirement that the media must promote only national objectives. Um, the state retains a, a legal monopoly of broadcast media, um, journalists for the state media uh, to the government's editorial line for fear of retaliation. Uh, according to DW Academy, alternative sources of information such as the internet of or satellite broadcasts of radio stations uh, 
are restricted uh, through occasional uh, signal jumps and by the poor quality of the government control of the internet. Uh, the internet penetration is extremely low uh, at just over 1% of the population, uh, according to the UN International Telecommunication Union. The users are forced to visit internet cafes where they are easily monitored. Um, Uh, the BBC, in May of 2019, reported a social media shutdown uh, in Eritrea ahead of the country Independence Day celebrations. Uh, with the opening of the border with Ethiopia in mid of 2018, some foreign uh, journalists received a special accreditation uh, to visit Eritrea, but according to the Economist, uh, the access was Finally controlled, and uh, as a bonus fact that I found, uh, as many as seven journalists may have perished in custody, according to reports that CPJ has not been able to confirm due to the climate to fear and tight state control. Uh, the government has refused all requests uh, to provide concrete information on the fate of a uh, impression of journalists uh, and to finally a uh, fact uh, in june of 2019 more than a uh, 100 leading african journalists uh, scholars and rights activists wrote an open letter to afe working asking to visit long impression of journalists and activists uh, but this re request uh, was only rejected and demanded inappropriate uh, by the Eritrea's Ministry of Information. Uh, that's all and thanks for your attention.